you can build a brand that is just hugely, eminently trusted, gone. It'll take a hundred years to build the trust, one hour it's gone. It's when you encounter something that you put your trust in and then it's paid off, the business result is exponential. The only way you can actually measure trust is not by saying, am I trustworthy? It's by actually looking outside and asking other people, are you trustworthy? Nothing is as fast as the speed of trust, and nothing is as profitable as the economics of trust, and nothing is as inspiring as an offering of trust. It's truly the one thing that changes everything. Trust is going to be our mantra today. We're gonna to hear this word over and over again, shared by many different trust experts today in many different ways. Like me, it'll literally be under your skin. So there's three things that we want to be chatting about today. First one of those is stories. The reality is that we all learn from stories. Stories are interesting as well because there are three types of stories. For example, one that we'll be talking about is the stories that others tell about you. And the other thing that's crucial in this mix is, of course, the power of small. We're going to learn that it's all these tiny, tiny, tiny things that we do that have immense impact. Why are we here? Why are we talking about trust? And the simple answer is because we need to. It's, it's not just our tool set, but how we use it. And that's what I'd love to share with you today. Why would music and, and hostility be in the same region? Well, one is that intent part, because what happens when we hear bad intent in someone's tone of voice? Right away, we're gonna, there's going to be a loss of trust, isn't there? We're going to feel defensive about it. I have been in HR for a little over 18 years now, and I've absolutely hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Until I found Zappos. Culture is everybody's job. Trust is everybody's job. There's no culture department. There's no trust department. There's not one person in charge of making sure the culture's right or the trust is right. It's everybody's job within the organization. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the personality of trust. And it's almost the complement to the culture of trust because culture is how we're the same and personality is how we're different. So it's like how we actually reconcile the two together. Most of us are indoctrinated to be focusing at our weakness. Think back to when you were at school. It breaks down to team social responsibility. So you say with the sales team, what's its role? To actually be of value to the entire organization, not just to go make sales. You know, what's the role of the finance team? Not just to count the money, but actually to be of value to everyone. Building trust online. It sounds like you can come to a conference like this, get all the tips, get to learn it. It takes time, it takes a lot of effort. It requires you to be quite transparent. The CEO has to become the chief engagement officer. Absolutely. Because the trust comes from the business leadership. And unless the leader understands the shift of connectivity and the way people are building trust, they won't know how to adapt their products and services and properly digitally transform their organizations. I'm excited to be part of this trust conference, especially the whole idea of the trust movement. Let me highlight three main points, three big ideas that I think you'll find useful to you as a leader, but also to your organization. So by trust, I simply mean confidence. Confidence. In fact, in many languages, trust and confidence are the exact same way. Take the lead. It's the job of the leader to go first. Someone needs to go first. That's what leaders do. Leaders go first. They, they extend their trust. They're smart about it. It's not a blind trust. I'm not saying be blind about your trust. Now be smart about it. But find ways to lead out and extend trust to others. Why? Because you'll generate the reciprocity. And people will respond to it. They'll be inspired by it. They'll rise to the occasion. And you'll help bring about this renaissance of trust. We'll do it together. Yeah, um, I was trying to get Indians to trust me. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? <laughs> so our economy has been taken over by a very smart mathematical formula. It doesn't care about you. And the people who game the system, because you can't actually work the system, the only way is to interrupt and join in and game it. The funds, the quants, the banks. Because when technology met money multiplied by human greed, we collapsed. And I kid you not, 
We aren't even halfway through this mess. What we're trying to do is build it again. And we're building it with the same creeps who did it to us in the first place. So how can we possibly trust it? How we avoid 39 and 14. How we don't be anti-Fifi and live through horror. We start with trust. It's all we're left with. 